This morning, I am going to plant daffodil bulbs. I bought a half a bushel of mixed daffodil bulbs from Terracia Farms uh, in North Carolina. I like to buy local when I can. And so what I'm going to do is for function and for beauty, I'm going to plant them around the pear trees and around the apple trees because they're a natural a deer deterrent and so I'm also going to add a little bit of espoma bulb tone in each hole um, with the bulbs so um oh and the other thing I wanted to show you is that I bought a new auger this was my original auger works great there's nothing wrong with it except for it's low and so to use it kind of give me a little backache so I bought this longer three foot auger. It still fits in my drill, but look at the difference. So instead of bending down to drill my holes for my bulbs, I can stand up and do it, which is awesome. So now I can just, it's my height. I saw this on, I watch um, Garden Answer on YouTube and Laura designed this auger um, especially uh, so that you can stand up and not have to bend over so it's really great all right so these bulbs need to go six inches down so it's right where the tape is and I'm just gonna drill all my holes and then pop these bulbs in I don't know how many it's gonna use up but we'll just go until we don't have any more all right let's start up here <clears throat> it'll be very pretty Oh, how nice. Going down six inches every time. It was so warm yesterday, but almost 80. And it's a little chilly today. I'm just going to ring them. I'm just going to go in a circle around these pear trees. I may get another half bushel and come back. Oh, this is a dream. This is worth it. I think it was like $79. Definitely worth it. What do you think, Sammy? That thing's pretty cool, isn't it? think the ants are gonna like this you better get back get back no they're not I love this auger Definitely a back saver. Amazing. Right in the end.
things will be so pretty in the spring. She won't be too far off. Gosh, I love this auger. Don't even waste your time on a short one. Give those bulbs a great start in this clay dirt. No, ma'am, don't roll in that. No, ma'am. No, don't you get in that. Then you're going to have to have a bath, and you don't like that. No, don't roll in that. Sammy, girlfriend. No, ma'am. No. All right, so when you're planting the bulbs, that's the root side, that goes down, and that's the pointy side, and that goes up. That's where it's going to start growing. And some of these are already growing. <clears throat> I'll show you. For instance, there's a double one, but see the little growth points coming up? So that's the bottom, that's the roots, and the growth points come up. And that one I'm going to separate since it's two. And they go down in, pointing up, and then we'll come back and cover them up. Every hole is six inches down because I measured it with the tape on the auger. These are going to be so pretty. Yes, I think I'm going to have to order another. Just cover them over. And say, see you in the spring. Just like that. Easy peasy. I'm not really measuring this bulb tone, but it's probably about a tablespoon in each hole. Just enough to give the plant, give the bulb some energy to produce some beautiful daffodils. Some of these that are double, I am breaking them apart. Alrighty, those in. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> did you get that one out? Sammy, you did. Moving the trailer up to the lean-to. And I'm gonna finish this little project while he's doing that. I would suggest you buy in bulk. If you've got a whole lot to plant, you know, you can get a couple of bags at Lowe's or wherever, but if you get them bulk, then, you know, I think they're a little cheaper. I think this half bushel was something like $70, maybe. Which by the time I buy four or five bags of daffodils at Lowe's, you know, you've spent that. And if you want to get them local, 
You know, that's better. I don't know where those daffodils from Lowe's come from. They could come from, I don't know, Denmark or somewhere. But I do know these bulbs came from North Carolina. So they're suited for our area, which makes them more hardy. And I just prefer buying plants that were grown in our growing area, just like with these trees. You know, they were, they were started and grown in North Carolina. So they're gonna, the chances of them being successfully grown are a little bit better than if I just bought something off a shelf. Now I'm not knocking Lowe's, but you don't know where those plants, those trees, those bulbs come from. And it's certainly not local most of the time. So support local, buy local, and then your efforts will be rewarded with a healthy plant in most cases. I'll get you. You better quit rolling in that dirt. I'm gonna get you. Oh, she's got the zoomies. Yes, because I'm doing something else. You got the zoomies? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, uh, you're silly. You're a silly dog. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. We rode in the car all day yesterday, so she's feeling a little frisky today. Aren't you? Aren't you? Ah, we'll get you. Ah, don't you get my bulb? Ah, you snatching it? <laughs> you are. Don't you snatch my bulbs out of there? You are being rotten. Aren't you? Ah, don't you get them? <laughs> don't you get my bulbs out of that hole? You're being a little miscreant, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't seen you do that before. That's funny. Yep, that's funny. the biotone which is similar in nature and so that will help the bulbs anyway better than nothing so we're going to finish up the rest of these bulbs and get them in the ground I've taken my little helper inside and I've changed clothes because it's getting hot out here so we're going to now put biotone starter 
in these holes, which is very similar. It'll still feed the bulbs. Probably not perfect as bulb tone, but it's better than no tone, right? Certainly won't hurt them. I need to recharge that battery on the drill. Of course, Chris probably has one in there that I can pop in. Oh, this makes me happy. Love to get a project done. Here comes my little helpers. I've gotten bulbs around all the existing trees. I know, I'm excited. My battery has um, given out. I do. Have we got one that's ready? I'll get it in a minute because I think I'm, I'm still gonna have some more bulbs and I'll just go ahead and plant them around the new trees. I was surprised it lasted. The, can you believe it lasted exactly to the last pole? <laughs> I was like, how good is that? My sweet hubby is going to get me another battery so I can finish the project. Come on, Sammy. Working in. So I have that many left. Just probably about 20, 25. That's okay, I won't have, I won't have but about 20 holes to dr drill. That's about all I got left. But that did all those. So I'll just pop some more in here, see? They're coming up already. So I've got about 50. Yep. All right, I'm gonna finish up planting those 50 bulbs up there around some of the birdhouses, probably not around all of them, but some of them. And we finished two rows around the trees. The ground was just too hard to plant around the new tree. So I hope this inspires you to grab a bag of daffodils from your local stores and put them in the ground. You've got time. We're in zone old zone 7b new zone 8 i still go by 7b because that's what it still feels like it doesn't feel like it's changed so 7b in uh, northeastern north carolina and it's the end of january and i'm putting these bulbs in now because the ones i put in last year are already starting to peep up be inspired go plant some bulbs you'll be glad you did